If you want to run a successful and effective campaign to improve your SEO rankings, you need to kick it off the right way. And it is true keyword research. When you choose the right keywords, you are looking out for the right target audience. You must be thinking, starting an SEO campaign must be very intimidating. In essence, running an SEO campaign is actually not rocket science, but it is a planned effort in optimizing your page or website for Google's SEO rankings. It is often a long-term project which involves different components like keyword research, website audit, keyword analysis, on-page optimization, link building, and many more. But in today's video, we're going to focus on one thing, which is finding the right keywords. And this video, we're going to share with you five tips that you can start doing to get the right keywords for your page and website. All right. Now, the first tip is to focus on long tail keywords. With so many competition around, it is downright impossible to compete with big players or corporations with, in comparison to me, perhaps a small company or an individual that's just starting their business. It's hard. It's hard to compete when the internet is like a vast ocean. Instead, focus on long tail keywords. Not only is using long tail keywords a bit more specific, it is also some ways of pre-qualifying your traffic, which means those that visit your website with these keywords are most likely to convert into a user or a buyer. So in essence, using long tail keywords have higher conversion potential to drive more traffic to your website or page. The second tip is to optimize your keyword placement strategy. Many people think that simply throwing keywords at random places thinking that it would give the same results. But the truth is, search engine algorithm views and analyzes placements the same way as well. Hence, it is crucial to ensure that keywords are on your page title, URLs, meta descriptions, headings, and subheadings. This is to ensure that Google is able to see your terms when they crawl your website or page and it will definitely help navigate your target audience to the right content and page. And the third tip is to narrow down the right keywords. And the first way is to do an organic search of primary keywords. And the second way is using a tool like Keyword Tool. Now, what's the difference? Organically conducting a search, you will be able to reach out to communities and rely more on what you're searching organically through search engines to figure out content that's relatable within your community. You'll be able to find out what they're talking about, what people are sharing on social media, on different sites, and conclude your keyword analysis. Using Keyword Tool, on the other hand, allows you to see traffic and engagement for each search term which can significantly cut down so much of your time finding out keywords that matters to your niche or business. However, we do recommend using both methods concurrently to give you the best results. And the fourth tip is to find the sweet spot between high search volume and low competition keywords. So here's when things are a little bit interesting. You might think that going for keywords with a high search volume would be the best strategy. Although it is not entirely wrong, but going into that route will be very competitive. Oftentimes, high search volume keywords have very strong competition. Hence, when you focus your keywords on long tail keywords, it has much lower in competition, but higher in quality when it's targeting to its specific content. And honestly, these keywords are going to be gold mine to your SEO campaign strategy. Now, I'm sure you're excited to find these gold mine keywords. Simply input the keyword and select the country, then press search. So in seconds, you see tons of searches for these keywords, but as you can see, the competition level is pretty high. So what you can do is that you can use the filter results feature right here to find low competition keywords. Key in 50 in the max field and click go. As you can see now, 
The keywords will reflect accordingly based on your qualification and that is how you find the sweet spot. And yes, this is definitely a feature from our Q2 Pro. So if you'd like to know more about our paid tool subscription, there is going to be a link right down below. Do check it out. And the fifth and final tip is to keep track of your KPI using SEO analysis. So it's super essential that you start keeping track of your performance and efforts through Google Analytics, Google Optimize to see which strategy or which keywords work best for your website or page. For example, if your page has a high search volume but low in conversion, this is where you should start looking into perhaps your click-through rate needs some optimization. So it would be best advice to look into things that can optimize on your click-through rate as well as your checkout page and so on that can actually help you with your conversion factors. So there you have it, 5 simple steps that will help you kickstart your SEO campaign. Now to refresh, the first tip is to focus on long tail keywords. The second tip is to optimize your keyword placement strategy. The third tip is to narrow down the right keywords. Fourth tip, finding the sweet spot between high search volume and low competition keywords. And the fifth and the final tip is to track your KPI performance as you go. All right, so that's the five tips for you. I hope that you can start implementing these strategies to kickstart your SEO campaigns. I do hope that you can start using Curate Tool to help you with your process. If you have any other further questions regarding our tool or stuff that you want us to talk about, do leave it in the comment section below. I hope that you can subscribe to our channel and support us and click on the notification button so that you will not miss out on our next content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.